So, uh, visual media in astronomy and astrophysics is the theme uh, which I am going to discuss with you very shortly. As you know, uh, up until the 19th century, uh, for the human being, the space was considered as an eternal and non-changing quiet space. But in the 20th century, the humankind began to understand that uh, space is more dynamic. Uh, first, we came to know that the space started with the Big Bang. And then with the use of uh, radio wave, X-ray, and infrared rays, we were able to see some part of and phenomena of the universe. And we came to know that all celestial bodies were born and then die. In all of those celestial bodies not only evolve, but are extremely dynamic and full of explosions, as a matter of fact. And those explosions, of course, uh, uh, show a dynamic temporal changes. And one of the tip typical examples is jets. And space is full of explosions and jets. And that means uh, visual uh, medium is very important uh, for uh, use. Uh, well, we used a lot of uh, photography in the 20th century, uh, but uh, for the 21st century, uh, the uh, visual uh, media uh, is indeed essential uh, for uh, the advancement of our understanding in astronomy and astrophysics. And that is the first message I would like to put across to you. And this is the contents I would like to take you through. First is the uh, uh, movies from solar observations, which Dr. Isobe is going to elaborate later on. And for solar system, voyagers and other spacecrafts are used to capture images close to the celestial bodies. On the other hand, the supercomputer has made such a rapid and uh, mind-boggling involvement. So with the use of computer simulations, we were able to have uh, more insights into the uh, space phenomena. Uh, for instance, the galaxy uh, takes about 100 uh, million years for one rotation. But with the computer simulation, we can understand even those uh, uh, phenomena. And that's the theme of Dr. Uh, Ebi Suzaki's presentation. And today, uh, we are able to have movies from cosmic observations. And that's what uh, Dr. Emmert is going to discuss as a 4D digital universe with the use of uh, very special polarizing uh, filters. Uh, movies captured in such a manner can be presented in 4D, that is uh, three dimensions plus a temporal axis. Uh, Dr. Ebi Suzaki is a pioneer in this regard, and uh, Dr. Emart as well is going to give us a presentation in that regard. So let me start with the observations of the sun. As you know, uh, this year uh, marks the 400th anniversary of uh, the Galileo's uh, uh, observation with the telescope to the space. And uh, this is the year, the International Year of Ast Astronomy. And uh, many events are taking place around the world uh, in commemoration of this uh, anniversary. We are approaching the end of the year 2009. And in that sense, uh, this symposium is quite uh, timely that we are able to celebrate the end of this important year with this event. And this is the series of sketch by Galileo. Uh, from uh, uh, June the 2nd, uh, June the 8th, 16th, 13th. He uh, produced and drew such sketches every day. And if you put them together, this is actually a flip cartoon, well, flip animation. Uh, perhaps this is uh, the very first uh, flip animation or sketches of uh, the astronomy uh, made by a humankind. And thus, uh, uh, we are able to advance the field of science uh, through the use of uh, visual images. So visual images are fun, but at the same time, it helps us advance the knowledge of science. And Galileo uh, were able to understand that sunspots uh, develop uh, day by day in such a manner. And he actually uh, drew and left a, a detailed sketches of the development of the sunspots. Now let us uh, jump toward uh, the present day. 
uh, this is what we captured uh, in a, my observatory in Hida. Uh, this is the phenomena uh, known as prominence. Uh, prominence is uh, very well uh, uh, visualized at the time of uh, eclipse, but eclipse uh, is sh such a short uh, uh, phenomena. Uh, so we didn't know very much about the prominence in the past, but with such a, a, a tool, we can observe the prominence uh, on a routine basis. And thus, we can understand the speed of prominence and the intensity of energy. Without uh, a visual image, uh, the solar study uh, is not possible today. And this is showing uh, the uh, biggest uh, solar prominence ever in history. Uh, this took place over 50 years ago, uh, and this was captured in the United States. And this uh, have uh, begun to reveal in front of us the, the uh, real uh, phenomena are taking place on the sun. And not only the visible uh, rays, but also uh, we can use the x-ray uh, to observe uh, the sun. And this is uh, captured from a x-ray uh, astronomical satellite called Yoko, launched from Japan. Uh, and uh, in uh, editing uh, the films, uh, a group of uh, uh, graduate students at Kyoto University did a very good work, and they were presented with the outstanding award for a academic film uh, yesterday. So this is part of what they have produced. Uh, with the x-ray, uh, corona can be observed just in front. Uh, and you can see that date, uh, 1992, uh, May uh, 20th, 21st, and so forth. And uh, this really shows the rotation of the sun, as uh, uh, mentioned by Galileo. And so many uh, explosions are called flares uh, all around the sun. And all of those uh, stripes show the lines of uh, uh, magnetic forces. And those explosions are caused by the working of the magnetic field, as uh, Dr. Isozaki would tell us later on. And such a phenomena on the sun uh, have uh, uh, exercised such enormous influence upon the Earth and also on the humankind. Now, what about the solar system? Uh, this is uh, uh, Jupiter uh, taken from uh, Voyager. As you can see, so many vortices uh, rotation speed is uh, 10 hours, so very rapid uh, current and uh, uh, sandwiched between different uh, uh, moving uh, currents, both uh, vortices are uh, produced. And uh, this is a very big uh, uh, red spot occurring uh, over 400 years, and this is a typhoon. And uh, this is a typhoon hitting the Japanese archipelago. And uh, this typhoon image is uh, very similar to the red spot we have uh, seen earlier for the Jupiter. Uh, this is uh, one particular instant. And whenever I see this, uh, I really feel that this is so similar to galaxy. Uh, this is the galaxy M51. And as you can compare those uh, photos, you know that you are uh, struck by the great similarity. Uh, just by comparing the still images, uh, we can come to know uh, the uh, basic principle behind all of those uh, different uh, phenomena. Yesterday, in the uh, award uh, ceremony, I was uh, struck by the presence uh, of a festival, which was very similar to a local festival uh, very famous in Japan uh, called Namahage. Uh, now, for galaxy, uh, uh, for galaxy uh, to rotate once, it takes uh, 200 million years. So we haven't got any uh, video uh, for galaxy's rotation, but with a computer simulation, we can make it uh, visual. Uh, this is once again one of the award-winning uh, work uh, by Takeda, Baba, and Saito. And this is called the Computer Simulation of a Galaxy Untitled Dynamic Spiral in the Universe. A well, wonderful uh, computer simulation indeed. Uh, between uh, the celestial bodies, uh, gravity's work, and this uh, particular film was produced by calculating uh, numerically uh, the level of gravities uh, in between uh, all uh, the stars in the universe. 
uh, in the uh, galaxy. Um, they used a supercomputer called the Grape, uh, which is a computer dedicated for such a purpose. And uh, the computer was made uh, based upon Japanese proprietary technology. Uh, so this is a visualization through computer simulation uh, how galaxy rotates. Uh, uh, the farther you go from the center, the speed is uh, slower. Uh, and uh, all of such a phenomena looks very similar to the vortex we saw for a typhoon. So for their numerical simulations, not just uh, the interstellar uh, motions, but also a, the supernova a phenomena at the end of the life. Such numerical simulations were also included, so they employed the state-of-the-art computer simulation for the production of that film. Computer simulation is now used in many application fields, and this is a uh, hydrodynamic simulation uh, by a Professor Tok, uh, Professor Yabe. Uh, this is a very simple one, uh, throwing uh, a uh, log cylindrical wooden log uh, into the water. And this simulation uh, uses 100 uh, by 100 by 100 lattice uh, spots. And uh, all the simulations considering the air, water, uh, and the uh, wooden log were included. And this is another computer simulation. And again, an outstanding award was given to this particular simulation. Um, this is a jet phenomena of the sun taken from the, the Hinode satellite. In this particular case, magnetohydrodynamic simulation was employed. Uh, the computer simulation was able to reproduce exactly uh, uh, the uh, jet phenomena which was captured by this uh, observation satellite, and it really uh, astonished me. Uh, just at the core of a galaxy, a interesting phenomena called uh, cosmic jet is taking place. And for many years, we didn't know what it was. And we came to more or less suspect that the core is a supermassive black hole. And the black hole uh, absor absorbs everything. But then why is it possible for a jet to be ejected out of from a black hole? Uh, uh, 20 years ago, I had tackled with that question. And this is my answer. My answer is perhaps uh, the magnetic field is working behind the scene. Uh, here at the center is a black hole. And when the gas goes in, of course, it goes like a vortex. And through the interaction with the magnetic field, uh, the lines of uh, magnetic forces are twisted gradually. And because the magnetic magnetic field has a repulsive force, uh, it uh, ended up uh, producing a jet from a black hole. And this is how I demonstrated that with the computer simulation. Uh, this is the more recent computer simulations done, done by collaborators uh, at the center of the galaxy. Such a phenomena seems to be taking place and uh, this is how we can obtain more astrophysic insights by the use of numerical simulation, although the phenomena itself takes so many years uh, to be captured in reality. Uh, this is from a, a Hubble a telescope uh, of a protostar. And as was uh, predicted by uh, the earlier simulation, we were able to actually capture such an image showing a helical um, lines of magnetic forces. So jet. Uh, what you are seeing is the simulation, and that is exactly uh, resembling the, the real phenomena of a jet. Uh, this is a crab pulsar, uh, the uh, supernova uh, remnants 1,000 years ago. Uh, and um, we uh, uh, made this uh, movie. Uh, based upon seven still images taken during the period from November 2000 to April 2001. And pulsar wind, it uh, uh, affects in many ways uh, the surrounding. 
And today, such an uh, image it can be captured, and uh, this really um, stunned me. So simulation and observation can now be incorporated in 4D uh, film for the use in the field of education and research. Later, uh, Dr. Ibi Suzaki and Dr. Emerson, I think, will give you a better uh, account of such application. And so uh, visual image is indispensable for the studies of the sun. Uh, and computer simulation is also essential. And as I mentioned, the space the universe is full of explosions and jets. And in the future, visual media is going to be even more important in our field of applications. Thank you very much.